Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ahmed Jassim and today we will start our medical biophysics course by the lecture one, terminology, modeling and measurement. And in this lecture, we will divide it into four parts. This is the first part of the lecture. We will talk about the general uh, introduction about medical physics. The goal of this lecture will be examine what you mean or what we mean by medical physics and describe some related and overlapping disciplines. And then the second part will explain about the uh, modeling and concept of in science and engineering and medicine. And then we will understand measurements and this type of measurements as we have and how can the measurement will be effect about the doctor decisions. And then we will define the accuracy and the precision as well as well so I start with the structure of the lecture we will start the first part which is the part that you are uh, listening to now it is about medical physics definition of medical physics and what that means and we will have imaging method which is type of imaging techniques and then we will go to the measurements which is the part three we'll talk about the measurements and importance of measurements in medicine and we will finish with the unit the definition of medical physics is the application of physics in medicine. Simply is, when you are talking about medical physics, you are talking about uh, the application of that uh, field in medicine. For example, if I give you some examples about what is the application of physics in medicine, let's say you'll start with the, uh, I will write some um, examples. So we can say, uh, first of all, uh, MRI or magnetic resonance imaging. Uh, we will say, for example, CT scan. CT scan. Uh, we will say, for example, ultrasound. Uh, we will say again, for example, um, ECG, uh, ECG, which is mean ECG, sorry, which is mean electrocardiogram, and so on. We have many, so let's say I will list four of them. It just like uh, uh, these four, it just like uh, the application of physics in medicine. And if we are uh, uh, talking about this one, uh, uh, all these devices using as a, uh, like part of them, they are using for the diagnosis and part of them is for the uh, treatment. So the importance of the, the importance or the advantage of medical physics is using for the diagnosis and then for the treatment. And you will see some example about this one as well. Uh, just like uh, when uh, uh, when we are talking about physics and medicine, uh, we are talking about um, uh, types, two types of the uh, medical physics procedure, which is based on physics, diagnosis and the therapy or treatment. For example, um, just let me give you example about these things. So I'll start with the um, diagnosis. As I said before, we have, for example, MRI to CT scan, what I wrote before, and so on. All of them using the uh, as a diagnosis. However, if we are talking about the treatment, what do we have? We have endoscope. We have, uh, uh, let's say, we have endoscope, which is device using the light uh, to get for the diagnosis and the treatment. We have uh, radiation, radiation therapy, and uh, so on. All of them are just like uh, coming as a treatment for biophysics. So uh, MRI, CT scan, they are using for the diagnosis disease. 
and endoscope radiation therapy they are using and laser maybe we can say laser as well using for the uh, correction the vision is using for the diag treatment the disease okay what do we have else uh, just like uh, uh, the diagnosis is going to be two steps the first one is uh, just like uh, uh, you will have obtaining the information from the human body in, in the in the uh, in the form of the imaging so when the doctor refer you to be to go to the mri you want to get the information from your body as an image or ct scan and so on and the second step is the step of the doctor to read this image okay so what is the procedure what is the procedure maybe the question coming to you like this uh, list the procedure of uh, diagnosis the disease using medical physics you will say using uh, the first step is obtaining information from the human body and the second step is will be reading the images okay um and in terms of the therapy this is the treatment in terms of the therapy we are basing on different things we have two types of therapy let's say and i will write here or maybe I will just like we have several forms of, th of therapy based on the application of physical energy of the body. Okay, like uh, when you are doing uh, injuries or maybe massage or abnormal condition, we are using the uh, physical therapy. Okay, so the first type of the therapy we have is number one is physical therapy. Okay. physical therapy, which is using without any drugs, okay? Without any drugs, they don't using the drugs, they're using the gymnastic, and uh, heat and cold, using heat, cold, massage, Okay, uh, uh, and for the uh, for the second type of the therapy is named radiation therapy, and radiation therapy is just using radiation exposure or drug for treatment. So what type of the treatment that we have? We have two types of treatments, physical therapy, and we have the, uh, which is uh, without any drugs, for example, cold, heat, and massage, and we have radiation therapy, which is using for the exposure or drugs for the treatment. So, and this is the end of the uh, part one. Thank you very much.